So why do we need phrases to defend power? The reality is that your managers need you to be powerful. They need you to deliver the solutions to their toughest problems, to deliver the talented people who can fuel their growth initiatives. And yet so often they treat us worse than the person who delivers their coffee. So let's create a list of great scripts that will defend our power. Let's start with the right attitude. And that attitude is, if this manager doesn't respect you, then it's not a deal worth having. And if it's going to die, kill it now. Remember folks that it's impossible to grovel your way into a respectful relationship. So here's some scripts that might be useful. Uh, one, uh, this should never be more important to me than it is to you. And it sounds like that might be the case. Or how about, it sounds like something's come up and you need to put this search on hold. Let me know when we should reinitiate. Or on the candidate side, hey, it sounds like you changed your mind about this opportunity. Tell me what happened. You know, I've been in this business long enough that I now refuse to do it poorly. If we can't marshal the resources we need to do it well, then I would disappoint you just like the other recruiters have. This is what it would take to do it well. Hey, I'm concerned that we'll find the top performer, but then we'll lose them because you've got this protracted interview process. What can we do about that? I'm concerned that the top performers aren't gonna be impressed when they meet with the wrong person first. How can we uh, uh, realign this process so that we can dazzle those top performers and get them excited about their future with your company? Remember that everything you do teaches them how to treat you. You're going to teach them to disrespect you or teach them to respect you. You're going to either move toward a vendor relationship where you're going and, and, and flipping resumes to them or a collaborative relationship where you're solving their most important strategic problems. What are the steps that you've taken to reset a relationship and, and to get, get the two of you back on equal ground? You've got to be on at least equal ground. Thanks.